it's time for app number seven. And this time we're going to build a really fun wizard game. It's kind of a role-playing Dungeons and Dragons sort of thing. So what's that going to look like? Well, it's going to be a text-based game. And here you can see a standard round of gameplay. Of course, like all our apps, we start with a little header that says what the app is. And then right off the bat, we have our hero in the game, the wizard Gandalf. And he sees an evil wizard. Turns out that one is super strong. And so he's like, I'm not going to battle this. He could attack it. He could look around, but he's just going to run away as quick as he can. So he does. And then next he finds a bat. And he decides, hey, I can probably attack and kill this bat. So he does, but just barely. He rolls a 22. The bat rolls a 22. And I guess because the element of surprise, the wizard was triumphant over the bat. After that, the wizard Gandalf decides to have a look around. And he sees that there's a wimpy toad, a tiger, a dragon, and that very strong evil wizard hanging around. The game goes around and around like this until either all the creatures are defeated or the wizard is gone. While building this game, we're going to learn one of the most important concepts in all of computer programming, and that is the concept of object-oriented programming. This starts with defining classes, and classes define how data and behavior are bundled into one concept in programming. Maybe this is a wizard, or a dragon, or the general concept of a creature, or even the concept of a, a game itself. When we create these classes, those are called objects, we want to initialize them, have them come into existence immediately with the data they need. We'll do that through initializers, and when we're talking about inheritance, we'll have to chain those initializers through the inheritance tree, so we're going to talk about initializer chaining. Speaking of inheritance, that lets us model our concepts in our program with different levels of specialization. So we can model all of the actors, the dragon, the toad, the wizard, as something maybe we'll call it a creature in the game. And then we have a specialized version of a creature that has other data and other features called a wizard, and it knows how to battle creatures. And then we can also have different types of creatures that may themselves have special features, like a dragon that has a special attack or, or something like that. So this is called inheritance, and it's a very powerful feature when used judiciously. When we talk about inheritance, we're also going to talk about polymorphism and duck typing. Some languages have very strict rules about how you can use the more general, what you call a base class, or the specialized derived classes, like how you can use a creature versus how you use a wizard. The compiler checks all these things and so on. Python doesn't have compiling or this concept of strong typing. Instead, what we're going to use is something called duck typing. And we'll talk about that near the end of our app. Let's get on to build a super fun Dungeons and Dragons style wizard game.